back. Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Disney Sorcerers, Sorcerers Arena. Now in today's video guys, I want to be taking a look solely at the PvP in this game. Because a lot of you have been asking me about the PvP and how it all works, etc, etc, etc. So, I want to get into it. There are two PvP modes in this game. Uh, both of them are pretty good. I forgot what level... Yeah, I can't level up anymore. Let me just spend my energy first, actually. Cool. So, there's two PvP modes, guys. One of them's like kind of the main traditional PvP. This one here, Arena, where you just go in and you just do battles. But the new one, which is... I don't know how new this is, mine. Remember, I've only got back into this game a couple of days ago. You battle up some sort of tree and the higher you get the more diamonds you get every day so it kind of works a little bit like the arena mode so i'm going to come straight in and just and do a video guys right so let's have a look do a video do a game i meant so i am quite high up so you could see the arrows move nearly kill so i always put this guy down at the back and then it adds an extra player just doing damage 12 12 12 12 12 12 so obviously this is a little bit easy at the moment as she's got the air up leveled up high as well but yeah relatively easy because this is a new mode and you need to get ranked on it by going up the levels up the ranks so you need to go up so there you go i've gone up and when i do my next two uh there's cooldowns on these ones when i do my next one so on if you refresh it they get harder Four, six, five, one. That's who I'm going to fight next. But that's in 10 minutes. So I can only do one of those. But now I'm going to go into the arena and just focus on the arena, guys, for the next video. Because it's worth trying to get your 20 a day. Uh, because that way, you're able to actually get and use uh, a pack, a, a card opening pack. So it's quite important that you do that, obviously. So you can't see what special cards the other person has. So this one actually is going to be quite a good battle. Because uh, they're, I think they're a bit higher than me. So what we can do, because they're all three of them are together. We can get some big moves on these guys. And that's what you need to be careful of when you construct your team guys. So look at that. They're all together. My three characters normally aren't all together. But they are now because they got pushed back. She stays back, see? She won't move any further. So that means there's no way they can trap all three of us in with single hits. I'll drop those on Mickey Mouse to get extraction. I'll drop that in the middle again to do damage to both people. Let's scare her off a bit, actually. Sully might die, but that's fine. Let's actually, let's heal Sully up. Let's keep him up. Yeah. So also, it does the same thing like in most games. When you get into that last period of time, it goes poof, and you get double. So I absolutely nailed that one. Let's, let's go again. Let's go again. I'm not, I presume that is some leaderboards. I haven't really looked into if, you know, leaderboards and how the rewards are judged for what you get from arena mode and stuff. But um, I'm generally quite liking this mode. So. Okay, we've actually got different people who haven't come up against yet. I always like to drop that first. Okay, that was a very cool move. Let's try and get rid of this guy first. So you can use the provoke so they don't all attack Sully. Because obviously it can be a bit of an issue, right? Let's get rid of him. Now they're both going to go for the duck guy. Now what I can do is drop this back here. Oh, he's flown off. But that stunned the uh, vehicle. So I'm going to get Sully healed a little bit. Okay, one down. 
But that's bad because um, Sully has died. That's good because that keeps Buzz out of contact for a little bit. So I can just try and keep Buzz alive. Good, now get some distractions down. Get the laser down. Because now I've got to watch out that, that doesn't take Buzz out. So I'm going to get the heal on Buzz again. Now I'm going to use the slam. Hit, get her stunned again. Yeah, now we can take her out. So obviously it is important that you know what... It's good that you build because Sully can fear... Buzz can stun and do giant AoE, and obviously Ariel's the, the healer. So, oh, okay, I see I am ranked because I'm in, yeah, monthly rewards. So I'm not actually ranked in this one for some reason. I've got 72 trophies. Okay, let's keep going. Because if I win one more... I'm pretty certain I will go up to the next stage. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so they've got two. Marida, I never got into using Marida as a character, guys. So let's get these, these guys stunned for a little bit. But Marida is doing good damage. But the thing is, they're only fighting the people at the back. Which is obviously a giant issue because my two attackers aren't being affected by this. So let's try and get Marida away for a minute and let's stun him. Let's try and keep my team together here. Let's try and get Buzz healed up a little bit. Keep them all, try and keep them off of Buzz. So I can get a heal on Buzz quickly before Buzz dies. So she's wasting time healing herself there. And get the aliens down. Get the heal, get the heal. Oh, that was close. I'm going to keep spitting these apples on her. So that was quite a close battle there, actually. That's quite a good one. I quite like that. I've gone up a league now. Which is quite cool. Because this has got a very heavy focus on PvP, this game. A lot more than Disney Heroes, guys. A lot heavy, the PvP is. So just take that in mind when you play this. Um, let's see what my quests are. I think I've done all the hard mode. No, I haven't. Oh, I can claim a few things in here now. Nice. So you can see that these are relatively easy to get guys and you do get a pretty solid reward for it. So I quite I quite like I, I do generally quite like the way that works. I like the way it's all built up. I do yeah, I know I'm repeating so words, but I do enjoy that. I do like that. That they've kind of done a bit of a Fortnite battle pass thing. I, I would say they've kind of taken a bit of inspiration from Brawl Stars, guys.
Oh my god. They were ridiculous. I just thought I'd win that one for now, just so I can at least get it done, guys. Yeah, so I am still getting bits and bobs from it. Cool. And then the caravan crawl. Which is the... which is This is kind of the guild mode thing. But... It is good, but it's very easy. So, obviously, I, I'll use my main team. I like Ariel's leader buff because she gives everyone 10% more health. Which is pretty decent, I have to add. Which is very, very decent. So, I'm not going to play as an auto now. Health carries over, I, I believe. It might not. So, I'll get that behind again. Yeah, that was nice because I was able to drop that onto Jack as well. And you get energy regain as you're travelling, which I like as well. Oh, we've got we've actually got Marion as an enemy here, guys. Cool, so I'll get my energy up here. Nice, got it right up to 10. So get everyone stunned up at the front. Get my little guy down. Heal Sully. Drop that down. That should take out the gunner. Laser up there. Wrecked. So that, that went quite well. So obviously you can play the first ones on normal without an issue. Relatively well on normal. But these are important to do because you just get more currencies and stuff. Nice. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can get any more bits for Buzz. I always request those, but I know I'm never going to get them. Tiny petal brooms. I'm blind, guys. Don't judge me. Nowhere to be seen. Not in any of the shops. Ah, there we go. So that refreshes in an hour, and I'll and I'll come back into that, guys. So any more tiny mist, tiny feather. So unfortunately, there's only one tiny petal uh, broom there. Let's see if it tells me anywhere else. Yeah, that's it at the moment. Cool. So I'll get another one of those then. I should be able to level them up to the next tier tomorrow, guys. So I've got everything else equipped. I've noticed it's quite difficult to level up in this game. I'll level up one character that I always like, like I was doing before, guys. Go on to here. That's an easy equip, that does the enhance. And then you can go into here, level her up, and just level up, go to zero, level up once. Like that, that completes the daily mission. Purchase three items on the exchange, or just grab that for coins. And I get my free dark one as well, and some diamonds. I bought all of those because they're all for Ariel. So that's quite important. Because what that's going to allow is um, when I finally level up, which is going to take a while, uh, I can obviously then start to equip this stuff. Because obviously here we need level 40, 40, 39, 40. So you can see it's going to be a bit of a long road, but I'm happy. I've got a blue, guys. Now I'm still working on these two. I'm going to get Buzz up first. Then I'm... I'm debating on swapping Sully out for Gaston. Um, Gaston is a little bit annoying to find as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, guys, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button for me. Um, if you want an intro made for a YouTube channel, click that top link, guys. 
If you, if you want to grab my new merch, guys, there's an limited edition signed copy of my t-shirt. Not many go in, guys. Click that top link in the description, and I'll see you all in the next video. Love you all, guys. Comment down below if you're excited for this game. And to cover, a few people asked me how I got this game. I, I created a Norway Android account, put a VPN on to go to Norway, so the world thinks I'm in Norway. It is not out worldwide yet, guys. Be patient. It's coming soon. Um, I will do a video when it's launched. I will do a trailer. I'll do a little event when it's launched and maybe give away some diamonds. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, drop on the jet switching borders now. Roll me off when I was 17. Fast forward.